Hey everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7 where Mango loses his crap and goes off his rocker and tries some stupid stuff that's not going to work and y'all are going to make fun of me for. So if you're looking for top tier gameplay, if you're looking for super high Guild Wars strategies, if you're looking for guaranteed ways to win, it's not for you. But it's for the people who like memes and everything and... Hopefully we get at least one or two wins out of this and uh, we're gonna give it our all uh, I'm not gonna show you stats until the end of the video since you since you have to wait to get spoiled We are going to be debuting our new shiny Iceria so look forward to that as well and also um, Looking at my defense wins here makes me really happy uh, you Fien and Mui doing work against this guild uh, so let's go find somebody to beat me with and the moment you've all been waiting for our debut of Isaria. here she is i hope she can aoe as hard as uh, i expect her to aoe um and we're also gonna try out araminta in a surprise build that may or may not work like so um i get rng'd right off the bat here my tenebria is like five speed higher than my ox lots i think so uh I figured my Tenebria would go first, but here she is being a doofus. So we're going to lose quite a bit of damage from that. I'm not sure what kind of problem that's going to uh, going to do here. But we're going to start off with the burn here to at least do something. Hopefully get a good amount of damage in. And then we're going to start it off with... Uh, do we want to burn this? No, we don't want to burn this. Some Tenebria action. She's only four awakened right now. I haven't ever used her before. So everybody is asleep and now Araminta's dead. <laughs> but look at the work she did, okay? Let's not take this away from her. Look at the work she did. That's what matters. I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to see like how much damage she was going to do there. And at this point, trying to figure out how to handle the next part is going to be difficult. So I think we're going to hit here. Oh my. And what do we do? What do we do? We can't hit the... We just have to hope we live this next hit. She's got 16k HP, right? And then at that point, we just have to save the Chloe. Um, how much damage did Araminta do, by the way? Was that, like, a good amount of damage? I was not sure at all what she was going to do. And, like, the idea, of course, was to have Tenebria go first, kill everything. Kron was going to kill either Tenebria or Araminta. I was hoping it was going to kill Tenebria. And then uh, finish him off from there. And if it hit Tenebria, Tenebria might have survived as well. Um, so let's just go here. <sighs> And do we want to try to decrease speed? Yeah, we're going to try to decrease the speed here of the, um, of the, uh, make Chloe here. So how do we handle this? How do we handle this? We are going to burn silence. Because if we can silence the make Chloe, we did silence the make Chloe. So now we can boost her up. Oh, oh, she's still there. Uh, hopefully you get a sleep. No sleep, it's fine. And just don't kill them both. Didn't kill them both. This is why we're just good at this game. And now he, she silenced for two turns. We're actually going to win this battle. I don't know how. Oh, what if she wonders potion vials? Okay. Wow, that would have sucked. Imagine if she potion vialed her silence there. <laughs> okay, so rip Araminta, but she did her damage and we won the battle. That's all that mattered. And um, the reason why I kind of threw her away here was because I needed Ox Lots. By the way, I really need Ox Lots not to die. I needed Ox Lots for another person I want to test out today too. So um, that's why I was fine just throwing her away to see how much damage she did here. Don't you dare! Oh my god, could you imagine? Oh my. How cute. Hey, we won a battle. Actually, we haven't won yet. We could potentially lose still if we just do no damage. 
Okay, step one done. Step two is our new <coughs> not so Briar Witch Iseria here. And let's just try to kill Tenebra first. Hopefully we get a combo attack with our Isera. We don't. This is really loud today. I'm going to turn down the sound a little bit. Uh, so we'll get everybody attack buff here and probably just die. If you can see how fast my Isaria is, you can tell she's the one that needs Oxlot. So if she's going to die here, we're leaving. Um, get some miss on Isaria. That's okay. That's okay. That's just going to get uh, Provoke. That's fine too. That'll be resisted. Or not resisted. That'll be removed. Okay, everything is fine. And then we're going to do this. Hopefully, this does not counter kill the Isaria. Hopefully, it does not counter kill the Isaria. Please don't crit the Isaria. Oh, didn't crit the Isaria. Didn't kill her. Okay, okay. Oh, it did kill her. Come on. That's really bad. Okay, so she's out of commission. We're going to reset the Meg Chloe. So we can we can get some uh, survivability here. Do I want to burn? I think we can kill the Ken here. We can kill the Ken. And she's got nobody to do it with and stays alive. Combo with the Ice Area. Come on. Yes. Take it, SSB. Take it and like it. Uh, so now we will revive again because our cleaver is helping us sustain. Hopefully don't lose her here. All, all she wants is attack buff. Is that so hard? Um, I want this defense break. I, I don't want to. Oh, SSB, don't lap the Iceria. No! It's okay, it's okay. All I wanted to do was that defense break on the ice air, and she survives. Okay. Now we can skill three here. And our Briar, not so witch Isaria, is doing pretty well so far. She's got some damage. You know, 20k right there, looking pretty good. And everything is great. Everything is fantastic. Okay. Um. So, I, Araminta's dead. That's a problem. I wanted to use Araminta a little more. I was going to rebuild her for speed attack next time. But, uh, let's see what else we can use. Okay, this is what we're going in with here. I'm going to be trying carrot against the top because I don't have uh, the effectiveness that was chained. So, she loses a lot of effectiveness from her flame barrier. And against the bottom team, we're just going to ice area a Ruel, and it's going to work just fine. Um, so we have no worries whatsoever. This world. And the idea here is, um, why is it so loud today? No place for you. It feels like it's 10 times louder than usual. Uh, there's no way that is killing my GP. So all we have to do is uh, get a burner two off and we're going to be fine. There's no way they're going to kill. So we can see here, we already didn't get a uh, flame barrier burn, which is a little unfortunate. Everybody's got their stuff up. And I really like bringing Carrot uh, against the Fallen Cecilia's because she doesn't really care if she hits, right? It's all about the burns. And I think I can survive a skill two from a Rylet as well here. And he didn't even, ah, we got the, look at those burns. Look at those burns, they're so juicy. They are just the juiciest of juice. <laughs> that poor Rylet, that's my Rylet every Guild War. He's just like, all I wanna do is dodge. That's it, I just wanna dodge. And I'm gonna go for the Rylet first. I know it's gonna proc his stuff, but he's got two burns on him, which means, um. He's not long for this world. Definitely not with her, though. Just with the carrot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're you're in trouble, Rylet. I'm coming for you. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I will regret going for him. Uh, we need to save ourselves for another skill three. I think I took off her artifact, too. 
A lot of my characters are all messed up right now because I've just been doing the stupidest things. Uh, but we will be fine. And now we have our skill three up here. Um, this is going to proc Violet skill two, but I don't think Violet kills anything here. <laughs> and this poor Violet cannot dodge anything. Legit nothing. Oh, thanks for the boost. He's been trying to dodge for so long. This is literally my Rylet every time I try to play. Uh, and one more turn and we will have a revive. So we just need to not... We just need to not proc it this turn. But we're going to kill anyway. This is going to kill. Yeah, it did. Okay. So pretty safe team here. I'm not sure if this Rylet was a, a good Rylet. I, I have no idea. But these are pretty beefy units, right? So... Um, 18k on Rowana. I don't know how much my carrot has, like 15k and like 22k on my Purgus. So it's pretty unlikely for anybody in this team to die. 25k on my Purgus and uh, what is my carrot here? 15k on my carrot. Yeah, so it's very unlikely for Araya to actually get a kill here. Um, he would have to like get a combo attack and then skill three and then I'd have to miss and then he'd have to kill somebody else. Uh, and it would have to all happen when I didn't have revive up too. Uh, so I'm going to skip to the next battle here. We're going to win. It's just going to take a little bit. Okay, and our battle with Isaria here. Our Briar Wooa, not so witch Isaria. This is going to work. So Tenebra is actually ahead this time for speed. Uh, we need to land a defense break on somebody. Oof. That's a big oof. Uh, huh. <laughs> what do we do from this position? So I need to silence. We're going to start off with the silence here. And if we can silence the... Okay, we got the crow. We did get the crow here. So now let's boost her up. I almost wanted to boost up the Tenebria. Um, we're going to reset the Tenebria so she can try again. We won't die this first turn, and hopefully the stun hits... I don't even know. Um, let's go... Let's go for the Ruel. I don't think we're going to land it, but let's just go here and make her burn whatever. Some proof of valor, too. Wow. If we had defense down, we would have landed it, too. Ooh. Didn't get provoked. That's good. Heals herself, that's fine. Um, if we can find a way to... No, I don't think a miracle is going to occur for this one. I think we're just dead because Tenebria is just going to step on me. That's fine. She's going to survive. She's got a lot of HP, right? Unfortunate uh, that she got resisted. But let's go here. Um, we should lap now. No provoke, please. Okay, no provoke. Okay. So we're in this again. We are going to boost up the Tenebria again, because she's got her skill 3 going. We're going to burn for increased damage dealt, just to try to snap up that uh, s 10 I don't think we'll do enough damage, but... Um, nope. Won't do enough damage, but if we can cycle one more time... Oh no, there's nothing we can do, is there? Um, there's nothing we can do. She's just going to kill. Let's just see how much damage we do here. Jesus. Okay, so I don't want to lose her. I want to have a little bit more fun. Wow, I survived! I would have been fine! I would have been fine! I had that! We would have won! We had the AoE from uh, Oxlots, which would have killed, I think, because I did build some attack on my Oxlots just for that scenario. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay, and another suicidal team here. We're going for the same team on the bottom. I was going to bring Ox Lots here so I could Ox Lots, uh, regular Lots, Isaria. But I think um, most people are building their um, ML Ken really, really low resistance lately. So I think we can get away with this. And uh, I think we can one shot the ML Ken, right? Don't look down on me. Um, huh. Let's just try to stun, I guess. I mean, I don't really have a choice. 
I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, and the miss on the violet. Okay, so that's pretty a pretty good start, I would say. I'm gonna kill the, um, I'm gonna kill the Zerato first. I know that's maybe kind of stupid, but I'm gonna kill the Zerato first because I really just lose to Zerato all the time, <laughs> and I'm tired of losing to Zerato. So even if I lose this battle now, I at least killed Zerato, which is kind of the goal of today, right? Um, wow. Huh. Um, we don't need the attack. We might as well just go for a skill one here. Oh, that's so juicy, the sound. Procs that. This is fine. Of course, my uh, Rylet doesn't do his thing. So I really like Mui lately. Like, I legit, no memes, really like Mui lately. She's just really, really good. And she's got two great openers, right? So you can use her either way, depending on, like, what buffs they have. Okay, so the Ken is on immunity. I didn't think about that one. <laughs> it's okay. We can we can fight through it. Don't crit the Ken. She has a really low crit chance. Okay. Doesn't matter. Did we miss somebody there? We missed the the uh the crow. So how do I want to handle this? Um How do I want to handle this? We, we, we're gonna boost. As you command. We're gonna reset the S10. Uh, the regular Tenny, I mean. Did I hit the right target? I did, okay. And then we're gonna go here. Um, she's got 9k HP, so she's probably dead on the counter attack. But if she doesn't die on the ca- Oh, kill him! Yes! 24,000 damage! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. New plan. New plan. We're going to burr. Oh, no. That would be bad. Imagine getting rid of the, the S10 there. So we're just going to do this and hope we get a dual attack with Iceria. Bop him. Um, now we're going to try to sleep the S10 again. Whew. No S10 sleep, but it's fine. Um, how do I want to do this? I think we're gonna lap, so we're gonna do this. Just give him, uh, give her attack buff, and then we should get the kill, right? Of course. Oh, holy sacrifice! So help me. <laughs> get silence, Crow. Please silence. Yes. Okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. And let's boost up the Iceria again. And let's finish off this stupid crow. Just die. Nice. Okay. Get some reduction there. Oxlots gets a dual attack. Nope. Watch Iceria die right here. Oh. Oh, it's it's just it's just Tenebria. We don't need her. Okay. As you this is good. Look at this. We won battles. Just a casual 30k damage. Did you see that? Aren't I amazing? You're kind of amazing. Oxlots is a pretty good unit. So we went 5 and 1 full on memeing. Um, I forget who we lost with, but we lost with somebody. It wasn't Araminta. It wasn't Araminta. Okay, so let's go over my stupid gear. Uh, let's go over my stupid gear. The people I wanted to test out here. Uh, Araminta I wanted to test out just to see her damage. I wasn't, like, seriously planning to use this build. This is not how I would build her. I just wanted to see the extent of which her damage, uh, gets dealt here, right? It says she's on 60% crit, but we do have, um, enemies slept and everything like that. 48, 4750 attack. She's on Caladra, so she was supposed to get debuffs that first, um battle from the S10, right? Like imagine if the first battle, if S10 went first, gave them uh sleep and decreased defense, or even just sleep. Like any of the any of them would have been fine because look how much damage she did with none of the above. And uh even without crits, she would have killed for sure. Um so I'm a little sad that that kind of screwed me over there. Uh because my speed ordering was a problem. We then have Iceria on portrait 4k attack, uh, 350 crit damage, 100 crit chance, um, also known as 92%. 
A little low attack, but it is what it is. We then have our Mui on the same build she's always been on, just having a blast doing her own thing. Um, Carrot's been Carrot. Uh, I took off her artifact and switched it, so I forgot to change that. So that's a, that's a big oof there. Uh, we then have our Ox slots at 240 speed, and I lowered my Ox slots just again so we could boost it up with our Tenebria, which I think was the other person we were using. Um, I could have used Basar in this position, and it would have been way better, I think, because I really just needed to remove their um, their buffs, but I didn't want to use Basar, so we went with her instead. 246 speed, so she's 6 speed higher than the Oxlots, uh, but we did have the Oxlots outspeed her that one time, which is a little unfortunate. Um, and we did gear up regular lots as well for just like a secondary boost. My original plan was to go um, Ox lots, Iceria lots, Iceria kill two people. That was the original plan, but um, I can't even find them. But we never ended up doing it, uh, mainly because that was like my backup if uh, Araminta lived, but Araminta didn't live. And um, I also realized I'm glad I didn't do it because for some reason I don't have a piece of gear on lots and it wouldn't have worked at all. That's it. Uh, so that was me having a lot of fun. I really, really had fun with these units and I can't wait to fix up Araminthus gear to not be so bad. I, I really don't like making people whose only purpose is to get Ox slot up, right? Like that's just not for me. Um, and it's not as fun, and it really limits when I can use them, and it makes the battles where I do use them a little more boring. Like, I know I'll just, like, Oxlots win right off the bat, but it just doesn't feel right. Uh, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody!